The beginning of my time in Berlin was very difficult for me. Everything was foreign to me. I didn't speak a word of German. I had no friends. The culture was entirely different. I was unhappy. That was in 2004. More than 10 years later, Ruzadan Gorgeladze from Georgia in the Caucasus feels at home in Berlin. In 2015, she and her daughter Inga Afletiani opened the restaurant called Sveliko. It offers Georgian cuisine in the authentic ambience of a 19th century Georgian living room. Inga Akhridiani sewed the table decorations herself from Georgian tablecloths. When we thought to open the restaurant, we were looking for cooks and um, we, brought, we found some cooks from Georgia and then we realized that this is not what we need and what we want. And my mom looked at me and she said, Inga, I think it's time to get in the kitchen and we start doing the real thing how we cook at home. So we, we went in the kitchen and we started and yeah. That's where we are now, so I, I learned by doing. In the meantime, they've hired cooks again and shown them how to prepare their own old family recipes. At home in Georgia, Ruzadan Gorgeladze never cooked herself. But in Berlin, she's written a book about Georgian cuisine. What we are doing is very important, in my opinion. Because people in Germany don't know anything about Georgia. And the food, the national cuisine, is one of the best ways to express your identity. Badrajani, fried eggplant slices, is a popular dish in Georgia. It's often served as an appetizer. In Georgian cuisine, herbs are considered a food all their own. But the queen of Georgian cuisine is the walnut. It's used for sauces and pastes, and it's in almost every Georgian dish. Georgian cuisine is very diverse. The mild climate is ideal for many types of vegetables and herbs. The eating ceremony is, is very special in Georgia. You don't just go and have a dinner. We make a real feast and we sit on the table for three, four hours, drink, make toasts, eat. So it's a, it's a very special thing to do in Georgia. It's not just eating. Inga Akhletiani was born in Tbilisi, Georgia's capital, in 1983. She studied in the United States and Istanbul before joining her parents in Berlin in 2004. Ruzadan Gorgeladze studied psychology. In Georgia in the 1990s, she was head advisor to Georgia's then president, Eduard Shevardnadze. After the Rose Revolution of 2003 and the end of Shevardnadze's presidency, she and her husband, a scholar of German literature, came to Berlin. The Germans are very reserved. Today it's a cultural decision not to display emotions. In Georgia it's the opposite. We are very emotional people and we have to show our feelings. It's not so bad. We see these cultural differences every day. In this room, Inga and I try to be Georgian women. Shviliko is one of three Georgian restaurants in Berlin and the only one in the Kreuzberg district. Before the Berlin Wall fell in late 1989, this part of West Berlin was the heart of the underground scene. But that changed. Kreuzberg soon became home to trendy clubs and bars, and what was a largely Turkish neighborhood began drawing tourists from all over the world. Ruzadan Gorgeladze and her daughter Inga have a hit with their restaurant. Sveliko has been fully booked every evening ever since it opened. Hey,